Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this video which is a look around the BenQ 34 inch ultra wide monitor. So let's get on with today's video. Now I've been toying recently with the idea of going ultra wide or maybe even toying with the idea of going triples on the sim racing rig and I was talking about this to the lovely people at BenQ and they offered me a review unit so this isn't my monitor this is only going to be here for a week or so so we can use it and see what it's like. I'm going to be showing Battlefield 42 and the new Forza Horizon 5 on the ultra wide and this is going to be less of a tech review and more of a sort of hands-on everyday review of what it's like to have a 34 inch ultra wide on your desk. So let's start by having a look around the unit. Just sitting here on my desk you can see how big this monitor is and the box it gets delivered in as well is absolutely huge. You're going to need quite the desk for this monitor. The monitor is curved, it's nothing too drastic, but sitting in front of it is very immersive. On the back of the monitor you've got the power, two HDMIs, a display port, an external headphone socket, and you've got your USB input and two USB 3 outputs. There's also a cover to keep the cables tidy. I like the stand as well, once you attach the bottom V-shape with the screw, all you need to do is simply clip it in until it clicks and you can take the full weight of the monitor and it's nice and safe. If you don't like the red accent on the V-shaped stand, you can take that off. It is just a sticker and underneath will be the gunmetal grey. Now, of course, a monitor of this size and spec isn't going to be cheap. And I will leave a product link in the description below. But let's go through a few of those headline specifications for this monitor. The resolution of the monitor is 3440 by 1440. That means this is a 2K ultra wide monitor. The panel itself is IPS, that means it's going to be very bright and easy to view from all angles. It's also 144 hertz, as well as having a one millisecond response time. So this is going to be perfect for first person shooters. The monitor comes with FreeSync and G-Sync technology. And most excitingly, the aspect ratio of this monitor is 21 to 9. The monitor also has some fantastic sound. It's a 2.1 system, so there's two front-facing speakers and a rear subwoofer. It really is fantastic sound. Just bear in mind, if you are thinking of buying a monitor in ultra-wide, that is quite a wide resolution, so you are going to need a fairly beefy graphics card to actually run it. Here, on this demonstration, I'm running an RTX 3080. So without further ado, let's have a look at some games. Now it's always going to be hard to convey to you via a webcam and via this video exactly how encompassing this monitor feels. So I thought I would do a couple of before and after shots. This is my standard 28 inch monitor that I use on a daily basis. And as we fade into the BenQ 34 inch ultra wide, you can instantly see how immersive that is. Look how much more of the dashboard you see, how much more of the environment, the field of view is a lot wider. It's absolutely amazing to play these next generation games in this format. Playing a game like Forza in ultra wide feels way more natural than I first thought to the point where it almost feels like this is the way the game should be played and it's just, especially with Forza with the cars being sort of centre stage and the star of the show, you really can use that in this format to really get the most out of the game. Using the same before and after shot, this is Battlefield 2042 on my 28 inch monitor that I use every day. I've got no problem playing the game like this, but as we fade into the BenQ 34 inch ultra wide, especially a game like Battlefield 2042, how much more real estate you've got on that screen to actually work to your advantage in something like Battlefield. I will be connecting this monitor up to my racing rig, but for now, let me show you an interior shot so we can get an idea. This is the interior of the 488 Ferrari on my 28 inch monitor. And as we fade into the 34 inch ultra wide, look how much real estate you've got and how much more of the road ahead you're going to see. Of course, it's not only gaming that's going to benefit from a monitor like this. If you do anything work wise on the PC or productivity based, you're going to see a benefit from that extra real estate. Over on the right, you can see I've dedicated half the screen to Premiere Pro and editing this video. Over on the left, I put the top half to Photoshop and the bottom half to the internet. Now, this is all large, usable windows that are really going to help with your productivity. You can plug your games console into this monitor. However, you will get a slightly skewed effect simply because the games consoles don't support that 21 to 9 ratio. 
One feature I really like with this monitor is the picture in picture mode. So at the moment I'm using the display port from my PC, but if we choose picture in picture mode, we can now have the left hand side for display port from my PC and the right hand side is the HDMI input from the PlayStation 5. These are two individual inputs and windows. I've been using the monitor now for a couple of days and it's surprising how quickly you get used to it. I'm already using both sides of the monitor to open up different windows. Playing Forza, playing Battlefield is such a cool thing to do in front of this monitor. And I'm going to miss it when it's gone. Who is going to buy this monitor, do I think? Well, in my opinion, it's going to be what I would call a high-end user. They're going to have a decent graphics card. They're going to be mainly PC gaming. And they're going to really be interested in the latest AAA releases and sort of new release games. Because don't forget, not all games are going to support that ultra-wide format. Some you might have to play with black bars either side. They will probably have a reason to use that productivity on the screen, such as video editing or photo editing and they'll probably use that dual input as well so the big question is would i spend eight to nine hundred pound on this monitor and as a content creator that is a very separate proposition the problem arises in gaming and playing in one format and streaming and recording in another and you have to compromise so do you shrink your game down to fit the YouTube screen but then you're going to have big black bars top and bottom or do you leave it zoomed in only capture the center of the screen leaving off all that information left and right it is a big compromise. If on the other hand you were a content creator and you were using this only for editing, it would be a dream piece of equipment. If you're only gaming, it would be a dream piece of equipment. If you're trying to mix them all up, that's when it becomes a little bit muddy. So I think the user or the purchaser of this monitor needs to have a defined choice of why they would buy a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. But everything about this monitor is fantastic. I can't fault the IPS panel. I've never heard sound from inbuilt speakers like this. And it, overall, it's just a fantastic high-end quality package. But a massive thank you to BenQ for letting me use this monitor to see if it is something that I would want to purchase in the future. And hopefully this video has helped you if you're thinking of buying a new monitor or thinking of going ultra wide for the very first time. That is it, everyone. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.